In this video, I disagree with something. That's clearly wrong. Speed things up, get your charging times down, and deal with my heavy-handed problem. I popped a socket. It's Dead Vinci time. So now that I've had the 666 for a while, I wanted to share the first update on how I've been getting on. And despite some characteristics that you'll see later on in this video, I'm still really impressed with the AC inverter and the general everyday usability the 666 has to offer. So if you find any elements of this update useful, please hit the like button, it does help us out. Anyway, enough chat, let's go. So I've noticed something odd when it comes to charging via the USB-C PD port on the 666 in the fact that this link on 60 watt PD charger should give around 60 or 61 watt output. So when we plug into the 666, let's see what we get on screen. So it starts off at 71, so it's dropped down to 69 watts, but you can clearly see on the EB150 it's showing 60 watts as you would expect it to. So I tried to dig a bit deeper on this and lucky for me there's actually a 45 watt PD uh, port available on the EB150. So if we plug that into there now and then just see what we get. Keep the screen on. So that's showing 43 watts on there but look it's showing 69 watts. That's clearly wrong. But what it hasn't done is it doesn't seem to have affected the charge in any way, shape or form. So there isn't any problem, but you need to be aware that that figure on there seems to be a bit of fiction. So when I filmed the original 666 video, there was one important feature I didn't cover. And that's currently being shown on screen at the moment direct from the Amazon listing. So I noticed something in the manual under the wall socket charging section, which implied that it was one or the other. So you could charge from the power brick, DC, or you could charge from USB CPD, but not at the same time. So I've cleared that up with the manufacturers. So let's see what it gives you. So let's plug in the DC port first of all. This is straight from the power brick. What are we getting on screen at the moment? Looks like we're getting 96 watts. So I've got the um, 60 watt here PD U green power brick. So let's plug that one in, see what we get on top of that. As you can see, let's just let that settle down just to see. So it's stayed stable at 164 watts indicated. So as you can imagine, that actually decreases your charging time by a fair old bit. So let's just see something else I found as well. So that's the mains element covered for this particular charging method. But what about when you're out and about and taking advantage of 12 volt charging? So I've got my Budens and my EB150 here. And the previous quickest way I had of charging this and the 372 is using the link on 60 watt PD charger here. So if you have more than one of these sockets available in your vehicle, then you can use this particular method. So let's start off with the standard uh, cable here into the DC port and see what we get. So let's let that wake up. And is that settled? So that's settled at 52 watts. So let's try out the USB-C PD port now and see what we get. Just make sure that's remained on. And look at that. Settled down at 121 watts. So a great method to get your charging times down while you're out and about. So as you can see, I popped a socket. So I was just using it in the normal way. I pulled the plug out, started to become loose, used it again for a second time, and effectively the faceplate here just detached from the back box. So in that case, it's actually a warranty claim. So I contacted the uh, manufacturer and the seller just to make sure I covered all the bases. Um, and they did have a fix. The fix is fairly easy, but it does involve opening the box. So because of that, it is a warranty claim. So you must contact them before you do anything along those lines. Hence the reason I'm not showing you directly how to do that in this particular video. But I've also heard from others that have the 372 uh, version of this, and they also experience that issue. But again, it's a design issue. The manufacturers are aware of it and I'm hoping that they're going to come out with a revision in the future to fix this so this doesn't happen and again this won't affect everybody but again if you're a little bit maybe a bit more heavy-handed like my good self then you might run into this particular issue. 
One other thing I wanted to mention about my 666 was display calibration, and specifically when the battery shows itself to be fully charged. Now, as you can see on mine at the moment, it's got 100% in the indicator here, and the hello signs come up, meaning the fact there's no longer a countdown timer to fully charge. But what you will notice is there's still what's going in, and that's via the USB-C PD port, and that's also the same when I use the DC port on the other side. So what I've noticed on here is the fact that even though it's showing 100%, it still continues to charge for maybe up to an hour afterwards. So again, it's like a calibration issue, and this might not be the same for all units, but what I'll do is I'll quickly show you how that resettles itself after I've taken out the charger. Let's just switch that on. And then if you just watch the uh, indicator here, you'll see that even though I'm using no power whatsoever, that'll start to drop off its own accord as the battery settles down after charging. So as you can see, in a short space of time, it's dropped down 3% by using nothing. So if I plug back in again, it also resets the time to charged. So my advice to you is if you do have one of these calibration issues, just keep looking on this until it goes down to zero, then you know that your battery is fully charged. And again, it might not be the same calibration on every unit, but I just thought it was worth sharing that. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need to be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to Da Vinci.